Hey everyone, welcome back to another review. Today guys, I am super excited to be showing you this absolutely stunning dragon figure. This is Egon Hauk. I would argue one of the rarest dragon figures out there. Um, I was finally able to track him down, so here he is before you. So without further ado, let's jump right into the review and take a look at this amazing figure. As you can see, the box is massive, as you would expect. That's because he comes with a motorcycle. Um, so a massive box here, and I'm going to take my camera off the stand just so we can get a better look at this. All right, so here is the picture on the box, the only picture on the box. This is a Dragon Expo convention special from 2006, and he's from Hungary, 1945, and he's a Feld Jaeger Commando. And there's a picture of Egon on his motorcycle. Beautiful picture. And I do have him on top of the box. So let's just briefly look at him on top of his motorcycle. All right guys, so there he is on the motorcycle and we'll take a look at everything in more detail. But first, I wanna show you the contents inside of the box. So let me take him off. Okay, so I open this up. Here is, um, where the motorcycle was stored. You can see they have a little instruction slip on where to put um, the ammo cans. This is all styrofoam and a little messy opening that up. And then over here is where the actual figure was stored. So I did leave some stuff inside of here. So let's just take a look at this. All right, so just a few things that I left inside. Um, I've got his shovel in there. He came with some metals that I didn't apply to the figure. I've got extra clips for his rifle, and then also an extra set of hands there without the gloves. Okay, this is where his motorcycle jacket was stored. And um, I think that's, that's about it for the contents inside of the box. So let me move all this aside and we'll bring out the figure now. All right guys, so here is Egon Hauk and I'm gonna take him off. And we're going to take a look at the motorcycle first. This is a BMW, I believe. And this is absolutely beautiful. This is my first Dragon, uh, Dragon model vehicle. And I'm really impressed by this. It's very heavy. Which I wasn't quite sure what the quality of this was going to be like. I thought maybe it would be... a on the lighter side. So I was uh, very uh, impressed by just the weight of this. It's very heavy. And as well as the detail, they really went all out with the detailing on this. So here are those um, ammunition cans mounted on the motorcycle. There's one over here, and then there are 
two more on the sidecar that you have to put on. Uh, nothing inside of them, um, but still, those are really cool. Let me switch it to the other side, and we'll take a look at the sidecar, which is really cool as well. Um, now, there is another figure that is sold separately, Gerard uh, Menz, I believe is his name, and he is supposed to go on this sidecar, so now I am desperately on the lookout for that figure because um, that will complete this set. Uh, but I love this sidecar, that's really nice. All right, here's the machine gun mounted. There's a little mount here for you. Now we'll just take a look this, at this very briefly. Uh, there was a strap on it, or a sling. I did um, take that off so it would be easier to mount. Um, but nice model. All right, um, the one thing it would have been nice, I think it would have been really cool if the headlight here actually lit up. That would have been amazing. Um, I know that probably would have boosted the price up higher, but uh, that would have been so cool if you could actually turn this on. Um, the seats do have springs in them, so that's a nice detail. And the handlebar is this metal material that bends, so you get some good flexibility there. All right, and uh, here's one of the ammo cans up close, detached from the motorcycle. All right, guys, well, I th think that's everything to show for the motorcycle with the sidecar. Absolutely stunning model here. So let's bring out the figure now. All right, let me unbutton the pant legs here on his jacket. All right, there we go. I personally really like this look. So a very impressive figure that comes with this motorcycle. I really like him a lot. There's great detailing on him. All right, I um, guess we'll start with, you can see he's got a gas mask canister slung across his chest there. Let me take that off. So here's the head sculpt with the helmet. I love these goggles on the helmet, that looks great. And of course, that is a metal helmet. And here's the head sculpt, which is very impressive. He's got a very, uh, a very stern look about him, um, but very detailed. Okay, as you can see, I've got his rifle slung across his chest. Let me take that off. Okay, nothing really new to show here. Very nice as always. Um, doesn't hold the rifle all too well with his gloved hands on, but you can you can get some cool poses here with that. All right, um, as far as accessories, you can see he's got a uh, Feld Jaeger core uh, gorget. That's very nice. 
on his belt we've got pouches here for extra clips for the rifle and in the back uh, standard stuff here is knife canteen mess tin and the bread basket All right, on his jacket, he comes with an armband. It says Feld Jaeger Commando. That's really cool. And I believe you can put that, um, I was told you can put that on either uh, the, the blouse underneath or on the jacket. So I prefer it on the jacket. I think that looks great. We've got his epaulets. And then uh, this jacket is really beautiful. I love the way that looks on the figure. And then here are the gloved hands, which are also very nice. Nice detailing on those. And pretty easy to put on as well. All right, let me just very briefly show you what's underneath of the jacket. There's the Gorgat up close. All right, so he comes with a scarf as well, which looks really nice. And then there's his uniform underneath. All right, guys, well, that's everything to show for Egon Hauk. This is truly an incredible figure. I am uh, just so impressed with him. Uh, let me take out the bike one last time. So I found this one on eBay and I paid around, with shipping, it was a very hefty price. Uh, you're gonna pay a lot for these uh, these motorcycle sets. Um, so just expect to put down a lot of money for these figures with the motorcycles, but in my opinion, it is totally worth it. These figures are just uh, really, really incredible. Dragon put a lot of love into them, and they're very rare, and I feel like they're becoming more and more rare uh, as time goes on. So if you see one of these, I would recommend just picking it up while you can. Um, like I said, Egon Hauk is probably one of the rarest out there. And I would definitely love to pick up more of these soon. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.